What's going on there, people of the interwebs? It's definitely that guy. It's not locks. Today, we're doing a gem review. You guys have been requesting a bit more athletes, and lucky enough, Richard Sherman being on the Seahawks in the NFL definitely fits your requirements. So make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed. This is Not Lock Not Nation content. <laughs> Richard Sherman, an all-pro, in my mind, the best cornerback in the league. He's a complete player at the cornerback position. Nobody does it better. So, boom, getting right into this video. Mr. Richard Kevin Sherman, American football, comer back for the Seattle Seahawks. Comer back. Comer, comer. National Football League, born March 30th, 1988, age 28, from Compton, California. Seattle Seahawks representing and we have him in the news today uh, we have no reason to trust the NFL no reason to trust the NFL is what's happening and looking at this article we see uh, Richard Sherman's locks hanging plentiful out of his dreads um, and his helmet lots of locks lots of length and probably lots of twisting or interlocking on these ones they're going to use us until our time is up and then they're going to find somebody else. Basically an article seeing um, that he doesn't really trust the NFL. He's probably right, but enough about that. We are looking into his locks today. Uh, Richard Sherman, you can see his locks uh, in these photos actually were kind of reminding me of Waka Flocka. Um, new growth in this photo is not being retwisted, really but locks definitely do look of the twisted kind um, quite even much like Lex Lanson to be honest uh, but obviously come on computer why are you going so slow see what I mean like here he's looking like Waka Flocka looking at his locks there's no scarring in terms of knotting so these are definitely twists you guys know the twists route hair clips gels and all hair dryers you have to sit under for hour to let your clips dry and your, dry, your scalp is burned from the clips and whatnot. Um, if you care to endure this process, um, this is what you'll be facing. Uh, but it does result in locks like so. Having locks like this are actually pretty traditional. A lot of people carry these types of locks. Um, apparently they are the quote unquote neater, neater type of locks that one can get. I'm not sure why skinny cylindrical locks are considered to be neater. Um, not necessarily any cleaner than other locks, but uh, I guess to the you know corporate world, this is more sociably acceptable, which is stupid because now that they've made it um, legal for people to discriminate against dreadlocks in the workplace it doesn't matter what type of dreads you have if your hair is locked or braided they cannot choose to hire you if they don't want to looking at his locks in this picture it looks like it's been retwisted pretty recently lots of dyeing from the sun it makes them look a little bit drier a little bit browner might not be dryness but it definitely is tanned and <laughs> these photos looking quite monstrous uh, his tips do look like they were blunted at some point um, of course with his hair type it wouldn't be too difficult to blunt his tips very thin it might even look like this dread here might have broken at a, at a time being because it's really thin at the end and it's not as nearly as long as the rest of his dreads computer is just going really slow on me um, this photo Looking at the texture of the locks, um, pretty much just remind me of interlocks. Very thin, he's probably got about 170 or more. I mean, I love all locks, kudos and big ups to Sherman here for repping in the scene. Surprisingly, we don't see him really braiding them or tying them up at all. He's always wearing them down, which is an excellent way to wear your locks, wear them down and loud because that way you won't get any receding hairlines or pullback or tension from ponytails and braid outs um, although we do see him wearing helmets quite a bit um, actually we do find him with braids in this photo here and braids always do look cool when you can get someone to braid your, your locks it's actually quite the experience I recommend trying it but for the most part it is painful you might need some Advil to get through that so 
Um, Eric Sherman in the bag. The good thing about locks is that you can always find the nice hat to wear that's oversized. Oversized hats are the best to wear when you have locks. It's pretty fun trying to find different loud hat. Wearing a headband over your hair like this um, underneath his helmet is probably his traditional way of rocking the helmet. This way he won't be getting like any lint or excess sweat into his locks while he's playing. So do take note on headwear when you are playing football or whatever you're doing with dreads uh, just to protect him a bit more. Also it's probably to keep him warm but do note that his head gear here doesn't fit nearly as well because of his hair being so big. Um, so it is actually harder to keep your sh yourself warm. You got lots of dreads wrapped around your neck like an airplane pillow. But anyways, I'm going to sign off. Not Locks in the building. Go check out the Daily Vlog channel. Go check out Not Nation Instagram page. You know what it is. Get featured. Get naughty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. One love. Holla back. Deadline.